सिम सो नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग सेमी कंडक्टर डिवाइसेस ना सो हियर वी विल स्टडीड वी विल स्टडी जंक्शन डायोड्स एंड ट्रांसिस्टर्स सो दीज टू डिवाइसेस वी विल स्टडी ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टडी अबाउट पी एन जंक्शन डायोड ना सो हियर वॉट वी डू वी टेक ए पी टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर दीज टू आर एक्सट्रेंसिक सेमी कंडक्टर्स नो P type and N type. What kind of semiconductors they are? Extrinsic. Extrinsic means extrinsic. Ante mane? Huh? Impurities are added. No. Extrinsic semiconductors means impurities are added. So in P type, what kind of impurities are added? Hmm? Trivalent. N type? Pentavalent. So in P type, who are the majority charge carriers? Holes. N type electrons are the majority charge carriers. Are you able to understand me? So what I do is I take this P type and N type and I will fuse them together. Just it is not that we are placing them side by side. So there are some methods of alloying. There are some methods of fusing them. Okay. So one method which I can do is on this sides I will heat them. I will take a P type and N type. I will heat them so so that uh, they convert into liquid form and I fuse them. Are able to understand me? So, if I fuse them, then what happens is that see, my here on n-type semiconductor, who electrons are the majority charge carriers? No? Here, who are the majority charge carriers? Electrons are the majority charge carriers. And in p-type, holes are the majority charge carriers. Are able to understand me? So these electrons, they see these holes. These holes, they see the electrons. अर्थ होता है ना इधर दोरी किरात राइट एंड जब पे दे विल कंबाइन विथ इच अदर आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो इम्मीडिएटली व्हेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड होल्स व्हेन दे सी इच अदर दे स्टार्ट ड्रिफ्टिंग टुवर्ड्स इच अदर ओके मा सो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम द एन टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर दे ड्रिफ्ट टुवर्ड्स द पी साइड एंड ऑन द पी साइड हु आर प्रेजेंट क्या समझ में आता नहीं इतना डब्बा मारना था था कौन से एब्सेंट हो बोले तुमने ऑन द पी साइड व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट होल्स आर प्रेजेंट So these holes they start drifting towards the end side. Are you able to understand me? And when holes and electrons when they are near together, what they will do? They will recombine with each other. Are you able to understand me? When they recombine with each other, then you can see this type of a junction will be formed. Okay? On the p type, holes are the majority charge carriers. On the p n type, electrons are the majority charge carriers. But this region, which is called as a depletion region. Why we call it as a depletion region? Because here there are no charge carriers, there are no electrons also, there are no holes also. It means uh, it doesn't mean that electrons are not there. It means that they have recombined. Charge carriers are absent. It means neutral atoms are present at the middle. Are you able to understand why neutral atoms have formed? Ma? Because electrons and holes they have recombined. No? So you can find only neutral atoms to be present here. So that is why this region we can call it as depletion region. Okay, now see. So, for forming this uh, depletion region, n-type semiconductor it has lost what? Holes are. They have lost electrons. No, n-type semiconductor has lost electrons. Electrons are which charge? Negative. negative charge. If you lose negative charge, what happens? I will gain a positive charge. This is what happens. No. So, on this side, positive charge develops, and holes. And in the p-type, majority charge carriers are holes, and p-type has lost positive charge. So, what kind of charge it will develop? Negative charge. So, therefore, on the n type, you can see positive charge to be developed on the side of the depletion region, and on the other side of the depletion region, you can find negative charge which is developed. Are you able to understand? So, development of positive charge is nothing but uh, higher potential, no ma? Positive charge is nothing but higher potential, no? Negative charge is nothing but lower potential. Clear, no? So therefore, this is at higher potential. This is at lower potential. So definitely, I can say there is a potential difference developed. No? Are you able to understand? No? What is happening? A potential difference has developed. It is behaving like a, this junction is behaving like a virtual battery. Virtual battery which has a developed some potential difference. What is the work of a battery? Battery engines. You just want to circuit to connect just there. It supplies potential difference. No? Battery supplies potential difference, so this junction is also behaving like a battery only. So on one side we have higher potential, on the other side we have a lower potential. So therefore, what I can write, junction behaves like 
junction behaves like a virtual battery are you able to understand ma this is what happens clear no 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 see so therefore now can you say what is the direction of electric field ma potential barrier uh, first you make a note up to here ma then we will write then we will discuss completed up to here right okay see ma so therefore <coughs> we studied that potential difference has developed now now can you say what will be the di direction of electric field positive to negative that is the direction of electric field now electric lines of force always travel from positively charged body to negatively charged body so this is the direction of induced electric field okay now see so once this induced electric field reaches some good value good amount then what happens now it will further stop the recombination of holes and electrons okay induced electric field oka value ka reach ayin tarvata after reaching certain value now it will stop recombination can you say what is the reason how it is able to stop the recombination of holes and electrons chapan well the point is that when electric uh, this electric field when it re reaches certain value see actually what was happening holes in p type and electrons in n type they were recombining no Com they were combining and junction width was increasing clear ma no? now when induced electric field reaches certain value now it will not allow the uh, holes and uh, electrons to recombine what is the reason దాని వల్లనే ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫీల్డ్ వచ్చిండే ఎందుకు వస్తారా లేక అతో క్లోజ్డ్ సర్క్యూట్ కేజీ కండక్షన్ స్టార్ట్ అవుట్ నో సిమ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఈస్ దట్ దీస్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ దే షుడ్ కమ్ టు దిస్ సైడ్ ను ఫర్ రీకాంబినేషన్ holes should travel towards which side n side and electrons in the n side they should travel to p side see what is the direction of electric field this direction okay when this is the direction of electric field holes are which kind of bodies positively charged bodies positively charged bodies will experience force in which direction in the direction of electric field or in opposite direction to the direction of electric field in the direction of electric field that's what we have studied now positive charges they will experience a force in the direction of electric field for example if this is electric field clear ma and uh, if i place a positive charge here then it will experience force in this direction f is equal to q into e okay if i place a negative charge it will experience opposite force in opposite direction same concept is applied here also when electric field develops these holes they will experience force in opposite direction this direction it means this electric field is repelling the holes away from the junction inga meer mix ayindi saalu stop avvandi ani cheptu undadu artham avutundi kada similarly same electric field how it will apply force on electrons electrons are what kind of bodies negatively charged bodies so this electric field will apply force in opposite direction f is equal to q into e are you able to understand ma so holes are pushed away from the junction electrons are also pushed away from the junction so further recombination of these electrons and holes will stop so when further recombination stops then what happens junction width remains same so when recombination was happening width was increasing continuously so this increase of width will stop because of the induced electric field which is developed are you able to understand me? so questions can be asked on this one ma theory part is very important in semiconductors okay rendu theory vaste oka problem vastundi so 2 is to 1 ratio so remember okay ma see ma for example if i take the example of silicon semiconductor p is also made up of silicon n is also made up of silicon then junction width will be how much junction width means this thickness ma this thickness will be how much 10 power minus 6 meter and the potential difference developed will be how much 0.7 these are fixed values in pn junction okay then what will be the amount of electric field developed amount of electric field developed is c is equal to v by l no so 0.7 divided by 10 power minus 6 is 
7 into 10 power 5. This is a small electric field or a big electric field? This is a very big electric field. Are you able to understand? Ma? Junction barrier is very small. Potential difference is also very small. But the field which is developed is very large. So this field, it will further oppose the recombination of electrons and holes. Okay, ma? So listen, so remember very carefully. On N type, positive charges will develop. On P type, negative charges will develop. This is negative, this is positive. This is positive, this is negative. You can remember like that. Okay? Right. See, ma. So, <coughs> now we are studying about biasing of a diode, diode ma. There are two types of biasing. Biasing means what? Connecting a battery. How can you connect a battery? That is called as biasing. So, two methods of biasing are there. One is forward biasing. Second one is called as reverse biasing. So, first we are studying about forward biasing. In forward biasing, what we do? Positive side connected to positive terminal of the battery. Clear, ma? N-type semiconductor connected to <coughs> negative side of the battery. So, if I connect like this, then what will be the direction of induced electric field? Sorry, external electric field. This is external electric field, you know? So, external electric field will be from positive to negative. This is the direction of electric field, no? And here you observe, there are two electric fields, ma'am. One is induced electric field. Electric field because of junction. And second electric field is electric field which you have applied. Two electric fields are there. Okay? Now, if electric fields are applied in opposite direction, can you say what happens? Electric field is a scalar quantity or a vector quantity? Ah. Electric field definition ever. Eh? Force experienced per unit test charge, no? Force is a vector quantity. Electric field is also a vector quantity. Clear? So, this external electric field, it will oppose the induced electric field. Or you can say it will weaken the induced electric field. Okay, ma? See, consider this induced electric field is already we have calculated, no? Some 7 into 10 power 5. Now, if you apply the same amount of electric field in opposite direction, what happens? They will get cancelled with each other. Cancelled with each other in the sense, this junction barrier, it disappears. Junction barrier, it disappears. It means now the current is easily, it can flow between the junction. That is what happens. Are you able to understand? Ma? So therefore what happens, this external electric field, it opposes the induced electric field and if a suitable potential difference is applied, this external electric field, it destroys this induced electric field and current starts a conduction. Okay, ma? So this type of current flow is called as forward biased current flow. Okay? Okay. Ma. Okay. So when the junction barrier breaks down, current starts flowing. Okay. Ma. What is the direction of current? Current starts flowing in this direction. From the P to N. This is the direction of current. Okay. Ma. Now, if I draw VI characteristics, VI characteristics means what? How current varies with respect to potential. Then this is how I can draw the voltage. Okay. Ma. See ma, from 0 to up to threshold voltage. 0 to threshold voltage, there is no rise in current. Okay? But at a threshold voltage, suddenly you can see the rise of current. How can you explain this one? It will be so do third word. Exam. Chapan. From here to here, you don't find rise of current. But at a threshold voltage or knee voltage, me kal bend jayasthe tum tum dekada, that is why it is called knee voltage. Clear ma? So at this voltage, you can find suddenly current has rise. How can you explain this one? Uh, they get cancelled with each other. See ma'am. So this is applied voltage, no? So slowly if I rise the applied voltage, that is slowly if I rise the capacity of this battery, then you don't find any current. Because until this position, induced electric field was uh, stronger when compared to external electric field. Are you able to understand? No? But when these two electric fields, when they become equal, then current starts rising suddenly. Okay, ma? And in forward biased condition, the amount of current flow will be in terms of milli amperes. Milli. It means it is a huge amount of current. But in reverse bias condition, you will see micro current, which is very, very, very small. Thousand times smaller. But in forward biased condition, the amount of current is large. It is in milli amperes. Okay? Right. 
ओके मस्सी मैं नेक्स्ट वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट रिवर्स बायस कंडीशन सो एक्जेक्टली आपोजिट कनेक्शन ना पॉजिटिव साइड कनेक्टेड टू नेगेटिव नेगेटिव साइड कनेक्टेड टू पॉजिटिव सो देयरफॉर इंड्यूस्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड देयर इन सेम डायरेक्शन नो इंड्यूस्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बोथ ऑफ देम देयर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन सो इफ बोथ ऑफ देम आर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन विल दे कैंसिल ईच अदर नो इंस्टेड ऑफ कैंसिलिंग दे मेक वन एंड अदर वेरी स्ट्रांग they aid each other they help each other okay ma so if electric field increases what happens to potential difference potential difference also increases okay ma so therefore current to flow is absolutely not possible current to flow is absolutely not possible because still the width of the barrier of the junction or potential difference between the junction has increased are you able to understand but you can see a very small amount of reverse saturation current to be flowing even in reversed bias condition also you can find a small amount of current which is called reverse saturation current what can be the reason of that hello chinchi cheppandi hmm very small amount of current can flow what can be the reason of it adavte asal allow cheyavu kada they never allow current if junction barrier breaks then current can flow here potential junction is increasing so current cannot flow but still you can find a small amount of reverse saturation current hmm. sima reverse saturation current is because of what minority carriers we were discussing about majority carriers no but minority carriers are also there no sima in p type who are the majority who are the minority ha ah, electrons so many many holes will be present but very small amount of electrons also will be present no in n type many many electrons will be present okay but very small amount of holes also will be present clear to no? ah, now see so these electrons they will experience a force in which direction because of these two fields in this direction this is the direction of force experience no? holes idi envo no ay pedre en type boy so this is the hole okay ba? now this hole will experience force in which direction in the direction of electric field clear ma so these minority charge carriers they will cross the junction junction potential is increasing for minor majority carriers but for minority carriers it is happy are able to understand ma so they will cross the junction and definitely current will flow are able to understand and it is that current this is that current which is called as reverse saturation current from here to here here to here current is increasing no and that current is because of what reverse saturation current are able to understand ma ah. now see now what i do is so i will increase the external electric field by large value idi entha varaku penchute em avutundo chuddama nenu penchute votavu nan battery capacity are able to understand ma first i have applied uh, 10 volts 20 volt 30 volt 40 volt 100 volts like that continuously i am increasing the reversed bias potential then when a suitable value of potential is applied these electric fields will become very 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 large clear na ma this induced electric field and uh, external electric field they will become very large when these fields becomes very large then the minority carriers will experience very huge force you no know? what is the force formula f is equal to q into e no ma f is equal to q into e if electric field increases what happens to force force also increases so these minority carriers they will experience a very huge force towards the junction are you able to understand so they will gain so much energy so that they can break this junction also ee jail godan baddalu kotukoni aa pakka kelipothay anamata are you able to understand so when electric fields become quite large then the minority carriers will gain huge amount of energy and these minority carriers will they will break this junction okay room lo esukoni okane pattukoni kukkani kottattu kottam anukondi concept kodu pull aitadu anamata adhe concept ikkada kuda are able to understand so when their energy becomes quite large they can break the junction barrier and when junction breaks you can see sudden increase of current sudden increase of current so these are the vi characteristics for reversed bias condition
are able to understand ma but the cur current is small ma in forward biased condition we have represented current in uh, milli amperes no 10 power minus 3 but here we are representing by micro amperes 10 power minus 6 okay because here current is only because of minority carriers no in a forward biased condition current was because of what majority carriers so current will be greater but here current is only because of minority carriers so current will be less understood right Sima. so we are next studying about rectifiers ma what is meant by rectifier it converts ac input into dc output that is called as a rectifier ac we know no alternating currents we have studied no direction of current magnitude of current also will change first current flows in one direction then current flows in opposite direction that is called as ac same thing is happening in our houses also so this ac i want to convert into dc so that current flows in same direction so for that we require a rectifier circuit and in rectifier circuit what we use is just a simple diode that's it junction diode clear ma so there are two types of rectifiers half wave rectifier full wave rectifier so this is a half wave rectifier ma here this is a transformer so this is an ac source ac source will give input in this form no so continuously direction of current magnitude of current continuously it is changing okay now see now in this second circuit there is only one diode this is the symbol of a diode and uh, this is the load resistance which is connected load resistance in the sense anything which consumes energy fan is a load ac is a load everything is a load clear ma? now to this load i want only dc current for this load i want only dc current it works on dc but my supply is ac this is ac no? so what i can do see ma? in positive pulse this is the positive pulse no okay in positive pulse current flows in this direction okay current flows in this direction so when current flows in this direction it is forward bias condition forward bias condition and in forward bias condition it easily allows the current so that current enters into the load and work is done okay ma? but in negative pulse in this negative pulse what happens the direction of current is changed no negative pulse means what now current is flowing in opposite direction clear number now instead of current flowing in this direction what happens current starts flowing in opposite direction okay this is a reversed bias condition now when this current reaches here it is in reversed bias condition no this diode will not allow current this diode does not allow current it means that this flowing of current is not at all possible current never flows adi alone cheyina appudu current emana flow avutundi current does not flow are you able to understand ma it means negative pulse is wasted as heat energy in the circuit idi kuda oka form of energy ne kada it should be wasted it converts into heat energy are you able to understand ma so therefore what happens in half wave rectifier this diode only allows positive pulses only and it will waste the negative pulses now see in the diagram this is the output okay input given to half wave rectifier we are getting only positive pulses are able to understand ma? so this is also a type of dc only no here uh, magnitude is changing definitely but at least direction is same no so this is also a type of dc only are able to understand ma right see ma so next we are studying about full wave rectifier now this is the construction of full wave rectifier see my here what happens when i give positive pulse when positive pulse is supplied this is the direction of current no? now this diode is in forward biased condition this diode is in forward biased condition so current enters into this diode reaches up to here now when it reaches current reaches here now it has two branches now will current enter into this branch or this branch or divides partially daniki konni options unnai mottham current indulo unna bole mottham indulo unna bole lenta sogam sogam divide aina bole em jarugutundi cheppandi hmm what about this one endukala hmm see ma when current tries to enter into this diode now it is behaving in reverse bias condition so this diode will not allow current so definitely current enters into this load so i get a positive pulse understood now what about negative pulse when negative pulse is applied 
now current is not uh, flowing in this direction now current is flowing in this direction clear no now this diode becomes forward biased and this diode will become reversed bias understood no? now this current again after reaching this junction again it enters into the load only okay it means the current is entering the load in same directions no in both the uh, what you call positive pulse and negative pulse when positive pulse was present current was entering in this direction when negative pulse was given then also current is flowing in the same direction it means to the load current is always in same direction okay so current's direction is not reversed no so therefore ac we have converted into dc one kind of dc 100% dc you cannot say this is also a kind of dc are you able to understand ma so this is the concept of full wave rectifier okay ma why we call it as half wave and why this we call it as full wave half wave only it was allowing positive pulses no but here it is utilizing positive pulse also it is utilizing negative pulse also so this is the circuit which we use generally half wave rectifier is uh, we don't use ma because its efficiency is very less we use full wave rectifiers generally see ma so filter circuits ma what is meant by filter circuits see ma from full wave rectifier this is the output which we get no from full wave rectifier this output we will get now this is not 100% dc this is a kind of dc here what is changing what is not changing magnitude is changing direction is not changing so this one you cannot call it as 100% dc but this is 100% dc direction is also same magnitude is also constant okay so what a filter circuit does filter circuit converts uh, the component of rectifier into completely 100% dc that is the function of a filter circuit now in our syllabus we have a capacitor filter there are many types of filter circuits we are studying about capacitor filter okay so this is the input so from where i get this input yes kunar idi ha very good kote sai so this is the input atla okay so this is the input from rectifier and uh, this output we should get how it is possible so see ma listen carefully so in this capacitor filter just we are connecting a capacitor and we are connecting a load in series that's it okay now if i supply this output which is obtained from rectifier from where i got this signal from rectifier are you able to understand ma when i give this signal then what happens is you take half of positive pulse this is a positive pulse no half of positive pulse means up to here okay ma so in the positive in the half of the positive pulse what happens is first this capacitor will charge resistance is having a load no sorry load is having a resistance no ma so current doesn't prefer to travel in this path initial in the initial stages current doesn't prefer to path into load because its resistance is very high so it prefers to travel in the capacitor okay ma and capacitor will charge capacitor em avutundi capacitor will charge so until half of the positive pulse up to here capacitor fully charges okay ma and when capacitor fully charges still signal is sent no still current is flowing now this current it will try to enter into the load okay ma it means which part of signal i am passing through the load this part is passing through the load no this part are you able to understand and when this signal when it tends to reduce now it will reduce also no the amount of current reduces also okay when this signal tends to reduce immediately capacitor was fully charged no this capacitor starts a discharge previously it collected the charges now it is giving away the charges why it is giving away the charges because strength of the signal has reduced no so automatically it will discharge and that discharged current will again enter into the load only okay so that this capacitor does not allow the signal to fall down are you able to understand ma so like this continuously only topmost part of the signal is only sent into the load topmost part in the sense this is almost a type of perfect dc no 
ఏమన్నా అర్థమవుతుందా ఇస్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ మా సమజ్ మ్యాజ్ సిమ్ సి ఫస్ట్ యూ టేక్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద పాజిటివ్ పల్స్ ఇన్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద పాజిటివ్ పల్స్ హూ విల్ ఛార్జ్ కెపాసిటర్ విల్ ఛార్జ్ కరెంట్ విల్ నాట్ ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు ద లోడ్ ఓకేమా వై కరెంట్ విల్ నాట్ ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు ద లోడ్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ లోడ్ ఈస్ వెరీ లార్జ్ లోడ్ అంటేనే రెసిస్టెన్స్ కదా అది చూస్తేనే కరెంట్కి భయం అనమాట అమ్మాయి రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఎక్కువ ఉందనే అది ఫ్లో అవ్వదు ఇట్ విల్ ప్రిఫర్ టు ఫ్లో ఇన్ కెపాసిటర్ ఓకే సో బై ద టైమ్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పాజిటివ్ పల్స్ పాజిటివ్ పల్స్లో హాఫ్ బై ద టైమ్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద పాజిటివ్ పల్స్ ఈస్ కంప్లీటెడ్ సిమ so next we are discussing about special purpose diodes no first one is zener diode so this is the symbol of zener diode so dryer diode daniki rendu misalu yandi that becomes a zener diode korrame ancha oka misalu unnattu untay anamata clear so this diode is made to operate in reversed bias condition zener will operate in which bias only reverse bias so it is doped such that its breaking potential is very sharp it means sudden sudden breaking of uh, diode happens in reversed bias condition so how it functions is that see my here this zener diode and the load load means the consumer of voltage okay they are connected in parallel connection are you able to understand so what is meant by parallel connection ha huh? inka what about potential potential difference will be same no what is the potential across the diode same potential will be across the load also because they are connected in parallel connection are you able to understand ma okay now see so in normal conditions when i give the input signal at normal conditions current will flow like this current will flow from positive to negative no ma so this is the direction of current now when this current reaches this position now it it is showing two components either it will enter into the zener or either it will enter into the load now it enters into what na ah. zener is connected in which bias reverse bias it will not prefer to enter into the diode are you able to understand ma so total current flows through the load travels like this this resistor and it goes to the supply once again this is what happens okay ma but when you give a huge amount of voltage when you give hu- huge amount of voltage huge amount of current also will be produced no then what happens is that if total current flows through the load then load will be destroyed in heating effects we have studied no rated voltage rated potential rated current okay ma so load is always designed for a particular current and particular voltage and particular power beyond that if current flows then it will break down ohms law we know no ma v is equals to i into r okay resistance of load is constant r l is constant if you increase the potential what happens to current v perugutai kuda perugutundi kada current also increases so when this current flows through the load then load will be destroyed so in this condition what happens is this zener will break down zener will break down zener breakdowns means what happens to potential barrier diode lo potential barrier untundi kada adem avutundi in reverse bias condition reversed bias condition lo when a diode breaks down what happens to the barrier barrier destroys no when it breaks down barrier gets destroyed are you able to understand ma it means a potential difference across the barrier gets reduced when it breaks down so therefore now what happens to the amount of current amount of current entering into the diode will increase it means the extra current is taken by whom diode diode takes the extra current so that again same current flows through the resistance this is how zener diode will function are able to understand ma diode will have a specific rating ma antakanna ekku rating unna current flow ayind ankonde zener will break down are able to understand once zener break down maximum current that is the extra current completely flows through the diode and the remaining current flows through the load so therefore it protects the load are able to understand so that is the function of a zener and on zener diode definitely you will get questions by in every two examinations zener diode is such an important concept for every two examinations you will get one question in the neat exam clear and we will do some problems also so therefore what we are writing here 
when load currents get huge when load gets huge current that is when i increase this potential difference huge amount of current will flow no then what happens it breaks it means whom diode breaks in reverse bias condition and allows the extra current and saves the load okay so by this it maintains constant voltage and constant potential uh, across the load that is the function of a zener diode are you able to understand ma just when current becomes extra it will allow the current by breaking down so load always gets the same amount of current okay then a capacity 10 amperes and con consider load requires 10 amperes but i am supplying a huge potential 15 amperes is flowing then what happens 5 amperes will be taken by zener and remaining 10 amperes will be sent to the load that's it okay right sima so in the special purpose diodes we are next discussing about photodiode see so this photodiode it is operated in reverse bias ma see which diode is operating in which bias this you should remember very carefully questions can be asked clear see ma so it is connected in reverse bias what is meant by reverse bias positive connected to negative negative connected to positive it means electric fields both of them they are helping each other no so this is the electric field because of induced electric field and this is the externally applied electric field okay now see now this junction which is present here this is exposed to light ma external light so light is a form of energy no so when i supply light energy then by taking this light energy the atoms which are present in this junction they get separated into electrons and holes artham avuthunna kada in the junction what is present neutral atoms were present junction ante ne combination of electrons and holes no so neutral atoms were present so when i make light to be incident on this junction immediately electron hole pairs will be generated and these electron hole pairs they will be separated from each other with the help of this electric field okay holes will experience force in which direction holes will experience force in the direction of electric field okay ma and where this hole was created it was created in the junction similarly electrons will experience force in which direction in direction opposite direction to the direction of electric field so if holes are traveling in this direction then this is the direction of current are able to understand ma and when electrons are traveling in opposite direction then also this is the direction of current so whenever light falls you can see a sudden increase in current okay ma whenever light falls on this junction you can find the magnitude of current has increased suddenly okay so this diode we can call it as a photodiode so what is the application of this one see a very simple application is consider this is a door at an airport okay ma and i want to count how many passengers are uh, passing through this uh, gate per day okay what i do is here i will place a photodiode okay ma and here we have a source of light here we have a source of light so this light is continuously falling on the junction on one side of the door we have a photodiode on the other side of the door we have a source of light light will be continuously falling on the junction when light is continuously falling current will be flowing huge amount of current will be flowing are you able to understand now when a passenger passes what happens light gets obstructed no ఒక ప్యాసెంజర్ వెళ్తూనే లైట్ గెట్స్ అబ్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ వెన్ ఎవర్ లైట్స్ గెట్ అబ్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ టు ద స్ట్రెంత్ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ రెడ్యూసెస్ సో వెన్ ఎవర్ స్ట్రెంత్ రెడ్యూసెస్ హియర్ వీ విల్ ప్లేస్ ఎ కౌంటర్ ఓకేమా అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ కౌంట్ వన్ అరేబుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ కౌంటర్ సెన్సెస్ ద మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ సే దట్ కరెంట్ స్ట్రెంత్ హ్యాస్ రెడ్యూస్డ్ బై వన్ టైమ్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ వన్ ప్యాసెంజర్ హ్యాస్ పాస్డ్ లైక్ దిస్ అరేబుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ సో దేర్ ఫర్ దీస్ ఫోటో డయట్స్ ఆర్ యూస్డ్ యాజ్ కౌంటర్స్ they are used as switching on lights and switch automatic switch off and switch on mechanisms we find in houses no? so that also can be done with the help of this photodiodes are able to understand that's it. right okay see ma <coughs> so third type of diode which we are studying is led ma light emitting diode so light emitting diode it is operated in forward biased condition okay zener diode in reverse bias photodiode also in reverse bias whereas led is connected in forward bias clear so positive connected to positive negative connected to negative 
Are you able to understand me? Therefore, the holes which are present in P side, they will experience force in this direction. No? Clear, no? And the electrons which are present in N side, they will experience a force in this direction. So, both of them, they come and recombine in the junction. Junction lo recombine out. So, whenever holes and electrons are recombined, energy is released. In every semiconductor, every uh, diode energy is released. For example, if you take silicon and germanium, heat energy is released. Are you able to understand? But in some semiconductors like which are made up of gallium arsenide, this energy is released in the form of light energy. Energy released A form loan tundi, it will be released in the form of light energy. So whenever this recombination happens, you can see light coming out of this junction. So this is called as an LED. We are using these LEDs, no? So they are, they are working on the same principle. Are you able to understand? No? So recombination happens, current is uh, coming out of the, or you can say light is coming out of this junction. And we have different colors of LEDs, no? So that will uh, depend on what? That depends on the material of the semiconductor. Some LEDs, they emit green color. Some they emit red color. That depends on the material of semiconductor which you are using. And for discovery of white color light, these people, they were awarded a Nobel Prize also. White color by Tikaravadani ki help in a scientist ki, they are the scientists of Japan. So these LEDs, white color, they were discovered, invented by Japanese scientists. So they were given Nobel Prize also. Okay, ma? now see. So next we are studying about solar cell now. Solar cells we know, no? solar panels. So this is the working of a solar cell. So this is also same concept like a photodiode. Ma? But photodiode it is connected in reverse bias, no? So here there is no biasing. There is no battery connection. Are you able to understand? So just on this junction, we make this junction very large. Ma. We, uh, we make such that the width of the junction is very large. It means maximum junction should be exposed to light. Okay? So when light falls on this junction, again same concept. The atoms which are present in the junction, they separate into electrons and holes. So they get separated and uh, current flows into the load. That's all. Very simple concept. Are you able to understand? That is the functioning of a uh, solar cell. Okay, you sir, answer on our question. See, man. See this question. <coughs> so, a diode is used in a circuit and has a constant voltage drop of 0 0.5 volts. It means that potential drop across the diode should be how much? It should be one, 0 0.5. Clear number? So, at all currents, whatever may be the current flowing, it should have same potential drop of 0 0.5. Otherwise, it will get destroyed. That is the meaning of it. Okay? And a maximum power rating of 100 milliwatts. So, power rating is how much? 100 milliwatts. It means 0 0.1 watts. This is the power rating. So, what should be the value of resistance R connected in series? R value is how much? Such that the diode uh, series with the diode for obtaining maximum current. Are you able to understand? Ma? So, this diode should be connected with how much resistance so that it works satisfactorily. That is the actual meaning of this question. Yanta resistance nenu connect chest the ibbandh lai kunda work out. Are you able to understand? Ma? Now, see here, for this power and for this voltage, let us see how much current should pass through the diode. So, we know that uh, P is equal to V into I, no ma? So, therefore, I is equals to P by V. Power is 0 0.1 and voltage is 0 0.5. Okay? So, therefore, I value is how much? 1 by 5. 1 by 5, 0 0.2 amperes of current. Clear, no? So, therefore, in, through this diode, how much current should pass? 0 0.2 amperes of current should pass. It should not be greater than 0 0.2. It should not be less than 0 0.2. Are you able to understand? No? Now see here, what is the supply voltage given? 1.5. Out of 1.5, diode is taking how much potential? Diode is taking 0 0.5. It means remaining potential should be taken by resistor. No? So potential drop across resistor should be how much? It should be 1.5 minus 0 0.5, 1 volt. That's all number. So therefore, potential drop across resistor should be 1. Current flowing is 0 0.2. So can't I calculate resistance? How can I calculate resistance? R is equals to V by I. That's all number. Potential is uh, 1. 
current is 0 0.2 so 10 by 2 is how much 5 ohms that is my answer are you able to understand no? is it clear how we have calculated so first we calculated for this voltage and for this power how much a current should flow same current should flow through resistor also total supply potential is 1.5 out of 1.5 this is taking 0 0.5 remaining potential should be taken by resistor that's okay see ma see this question so this is the given circuit ma so diode it is present in one direction here diode is present in opposite direction so we are connecting a battery of two volts and how it is connected one time positive terminal is connected to a and in the second condition positive terminal is connected to b then find the current drawn from the battery in the two conditions let us draw first case case number one clear no? in case number one this is the diode this is the resistor 10 ohms and uh, this is the second diode clear ma? and this is another resistance 20 ohms and how they are connected they are connected like this positive connected to a negative connected to b okay ma? now this battery it will supply current to no? now when it supplies current can you say what happens ah total current flows only through this diode no? what is the reason if this is current i total current flows only through the topmost diode that is diode number one only why for this direction of current this diode is in reversed bias condition no? this is in forward biased condition this diode is in reversed bias condition so current through second diode current through i2 or second diode will be how much zero current cannot flow in this branch are you able to understand ma? so make a note of that statement also so here first diode is forward biased second diode is in reversed bias so current cannot flow current cannot flow through through 20 ohm resistor okay so therefore equivalent circuit diagram how can i draw so equivalent circuit uh, circuit diagram i can draw like this okay ma? positive and negative that's it what is the supply voltage we have supplied two volts and what is the resistance 10 ohms so therefore what is the current which can flow i is equal to v by r find the current drawn from the battery v by r mm. v is 2 resistance is 10 so 0 0.2 amperes of current will flow in the circuit that's it understood them now can you do the opposite connection opposite connection shouldn't case number 2 case number 2 okay now this is the type of connection positive and negative clear ma? now mm, total current enters into this diode and here current entering will be zero okay ma? now this is in reversed bias condition this is in forward biased condition so therefore i is equal to v by r potential is 2 resistance is this resistance is 20 so 2 by 20 1 by 10 0 0.1 ampere of current that's it clear no? understood now what is happening hmm? so for the first condition the topmost diode is in this diode is in forward biased condition and for the second circuit this is in forward biased condition this is in reverse bias that's it okay see ma, see this question so what is the voltage needed to maintain 15 volts across the load resistance rl 
of 2 kilo ohms. So what is the load resistance? Load resistance is given as 2 kilo ohms. And across this load resistance, how much potential difference I should maintain? 15 volts. Okay? This is the given question. So therefore, what is the voltage needed means what? Supply voltage is how much? That is the meaning of this one. Supply voltage we give here, no ma? Here we give the supply voltage. This supply voltage is how much? So that across the load, a potential difference of 15 volts is maintained. That is the question. Okay? So assuming the series resistance R is 200 ohms. So this resistor is also given no, additionally. So this resistance is how much? 200 ohms. And Zener requires, this Zener requires a minimum current of 10 amperes. So IZ value is how much? IZ value is equals to 10 milliamperes. 10 into 10 power minus 3 amperes. It means in normal conditions, 10 amperes, 10 milliamperes is flowing and Zener is working properly. Are you able to understand? So find the Zener rating also. What is meant by rating? Rating means maximum value of uh, Zener after which it is ready to break down. That is the meaning of Zener rating. Okay, ma? So that uh, value of current and that value of voltage after which Zener breaks down. That is called as uh, rating of Zener. Rate. Now let us see how we can proceed here. See ma? In the load, resistance and voltage both are given. So can't I calculate current flowing through the load? Huh? So current through load is how much? I is equal to V by R. Potential difference is 15 and uh, resistance is 2 into 10 power minus 3. Clear number? Ah, 2 into 10 power plus 3. So therefore it is how much? 7.5 into 10 power minus 3. So therefore it is 7.5 milli ampere. So this is the current which is flowing through the load. Okay? So through this load, how much current will flow? 7.5 milliamperes of current will flow. And through the Zener, how much current will flow? 10 milliamperes will flow. Already we have studied, no? So through the Zener, how much current should flow? 10 milliamperes of current should flow. So Zener requires 10. Load requires 7.5. Then what is the current coming out of this series resistor? Oh. So 10 plus, 10 plus 7.5 is equals to... 17.5 17.5 milliamperes should pass through the series resistor okay ma? so therefore current through series resistor current through series resistor okay is equal to how much current through series resistor it is uh, 10 plus 7.5 is equal to 17.5 milliamperes of current. <coughs> Are you able to understand? Okay. Now see here, if it is 17.5 uh, milliamperes and resistance is 200, then I can calculate what is the voltage consumed by the series resistor number. Huh? So voltage consumed by series resistor is how much? Voltage consumed by series resistor. Okay, ma? Voltage consumed by series resistor is equals to Vs, is equals to I into R. Current is how much? 17.5 into 10 power minus 3. Resistance is how much? Resistance is 200. Okay, ma? So if you do this total calculation, voltage consumed by series resistor will be how much? It is uh, 3.5 volts. Okay, ma? 3.5 volts. That's all. No? Okay. Now see. So out of the total supply voltage, 3.5 is taken by this resistor and 15.5 uh, is taken by this branch. These two are connected in parallel. No? Parallel means you have to take either only one voltage only because same voltage is supplied across second branch also. So in this branch, the total voltage consumed is how much? 15. Voltage consumed by series resistor is how much? 3.5. So therefore, what is the supply potential? 3.5 plus 15. That's it. Are you able to understand? Therefore, supply potential is how much? Supply potential is equal to 3.5 plus 15. 18.5 volts. Are you able to understand? So that is the supply potential. Here it means here what is the supply I have to give? I have to give a supply of 18.5 volts at the 
circuit. Battery capacity should be that much. Okay, ma? Now see. So, required values we have calculated, ma? Now I want information about uh, rating of Zener. Mm, now can you say what is the rating of Zener? Zener rating. Come on. First, you, can you say current rating of Zener? Current rating is how much? Sima, through this series resistor, what is the maximum current that can flow? 17.5. If more than 17.5 flows, extra current either it should flow through the load or it should flow through the zener understood Nama? if more than 17.5 amperes will flow either it should extra current should flow through the load or extra current should flow through the zener if extra current flows into the load load will be destroyed so therefore after 17.5 zener will break down so that extra current is taken by zener are you able to understand what is happening so rating of zener will be how much 17.5 that's it okay ma so current rating of zener will be how much 17.5 milli amperes that's all very simple if it is greater than 17.5 extra current load launch pass over but uh, load will be destroyed so zener breaks down and it will take the extra current is it clear ah. now can you say what is the voltage rating required voltage huh? Think very carefully. Voltage rating is how much? Huh? 15. Why 15? Ah. So, Sima, these two branches they are in parallel, no? So, what is the potential across the resistor that is load? Same potential should be present on the zener also. Then only potentials will be same, no? And if potential is uh, greater than 15, then zener breaks down and it maintains the same 15 on the load. Okay, so potential 15 karna yakkun dhan kundi the breakdown hai poali. So that it takes the extra current. See ma, here if load increase, if uh, supply potential increases by greater value, then potential drop across the load also increases, no? So immediately what it will do, it will break down and uh, it will pass the extra current. So that same potential of 15 is maintained across the load. So therefore what is the rating of load, same is the rating of Zener also. So voltage rating is how much? 15 volts. That is my answer. Have you understood? That's it. So, Allah, you can find uh, the voltage rating and current rate. Clear? 